When I was much younger and trying to make a career, I took everything way too seriously. I'd gotten kind of a late start in business, and so most of my contemporaries were a lot younger than I was, so I was in a real hurry to make up for lost time. And anything that wasn't on mission, I did not have time for. Now, the company I was working for was on the edge of a very large shopping mall, so we had this enormous, busy, 30,000 space parking lot. And one morning, way before the office opened, I was trying to get a jump on some stupid project that I thought was vital. And I glanced out the fifth floor window down into the parking lot below, and I saw that there was this young fella in a motorized wheelchair, sort of parked in the middle of the empty lot. And I thought, what a weird place to stop. And one of my colleagues, a young guy named John, I guess he'd seen what I saw, and he went racing out there to help this young fella. And then I finally noticed that one of the front wheels of the wheelchair had literally fallen off, and the guy was shipwrecked. So John hustled out there to get this guy moved to safety, you know, before the traffic started to roll in. And he was doing his best to drag this chair, but, you know, it was very heavy, clearly, and he would hold up the front end of it while the young fella, who I guess had cerebral palsy, he would very carefully trigger the electric motor so that they would move along in fits and starts. And, you know, this way they were working their way towards the loading dock, which was about 60 yards away, and they were doing it three feet at a time. And it was, it was like watching someone try to parallel park the Mars rover. The key word of that sentence being watching and not helping. But I was frantic to get my project done, so I let John handle it. And about an hour and a half later, I had finished my thing, and I went down to the mailroom to ship it, and there was John still down there helping fix this wheelchair's busted axle with, with the guys from the mailroom. And then besides that, they were also all taking turns getting their butts kicked in chess by the young guy in the chair. And a little before lunch, they finally sent this guy on his way with a new wheel and a full battery charge. Now, I do not remember what I was doing that morning that was so important. But the fact that I had not been the first one out the door to help that young guy, that, that haunted me for years. And I ran into John and I told him that over a beer. And he said to me, hey, forget the mistake. Just remember the lesson. That's good. <laughs>